On Tuesday night, peaceful demonstrators briefly occupied Seattle City Hall, calling for the resignation of Mayor Jenny Durkin and for the defunding of the police department. After the brief occupation of Seattle's City Hall, the protesters left chanting, defund the SPD. These local heroes would later establish the People's Republic of Chaz in order to enjoy movie night with one another. Citizens consider Chaz to be a republic for the people, by the people. A local man was quoted as saying this, Man, I just want for my people what FUBU did for black people. They get Al Sharpton and we get Donald Trump? Lame. Local reports suggest that citizens of Chaz have spent most of their time, quote, playing hacky sack and singing kumbaya. Representatives from Chaz have reached out to the UN in order to get representation on a global scale. In other news, a statue racially targets a peaceful protester who is hoping to remove some old American Confederate propaganda. The footage cannot be shown on this channel due to the sensitive nature of the topic. As EMTs attempted to reach the man, protesters demanded that police in the area take a knee. Protesters in the clip can be heard demanding that the police take a knee. Now this is bravery that humanity has never seen before. And in other news, an Oklahoma police major says cops are shooting blacks, quote, less than they ought to be. All the research said, including Roland Fryer, an African-American Harvard professor, Heather McDonald, and the National Academy of Sciences, all of their research says we're shooting African-Americans about 24% less than we probably ought to be based on the crimes being committed. Clearly, there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Due to the sensitivity of the topic, our personal local correspondent felt compelled to make this comment. Yeah, man, I think we should all, like, be equal, man. I don't know why people like this still exist in, like, 2020. Man, that's heartbreaking. I have four daughters from four different women, and to know that all of them are going to have to raise these kids by themselves in a world like this, it's just terrible. It really is quite terrible that people cannot be judged by the content of their character. Next, after the break, Tucker Carlson takes on Elmo. More, stay tuned. America must see riots do not develop out of thin air. Certain conditions. And they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Welcome back, everybody. We have breaking news on the Republic of Chaz. One of the leaders of the local collective has been ousted as a potential predator. One of their former lovers on social media has come forward with their story, and like many other people out there in America, we believe survivors. The trouble comes from both of them being women. If they're both women, who are we supposed to believe? It is clear to the world that this is yet another alt-right operation, probably being led by Richard Spencer or Milo Yiannopoulos. As the citizens gather to watch a movie by a projector screen, we are reminded that America still truly exists. And in other news, Tucker Carlson has set his sights on the new symbol of anti-American culture. Many of the protesters were upset that Tucker Carlson has yet to take a knee for George Floyd. Users on Twitter and other forms of social media are now now calling for Tucker Carlson and Fox News to be held for trial for war crimes. And in other news, a man from Manchester has pleaded guilty for breaking into his grandmother's house at 4.30 a.m. and eating one British pound worth of hot dogs. Daniel Allen, aged 
22, climbed in through her bedroom window in the early hours of the morning and took his shoes off and went into the kitchen. His grandmother and next door neighbor were woken up by the cats that were alerted when Alan entered the home. After what was described as an unpleasant confrontation, Alan left the house and the police were called. Alan pleaded guilty for stealing one British pound worth of hot dogs and he will be sentenced later this year. And we have additional updates on the Republic of Chaz after these messages. A SoundCloud rapper by the name of Raz Simone has declared himself the first king of Chaz. Multiple videos have come forward showing Raz Simone brandishing an AK-47 and a handgun. A video was filmed showing Raz Simone assaulting a local journalist. Local cops briefly discussed this on the police scanner. It's not clear to the citizens or the people watching how much longer the Republic of Chaz will last. After being reached out to for support by the citizens of Chaz, police seem indifferent. And in other news, in a showcase of absolute genius, Walmart has decided to stop putting, quote, multicultural products in locked cases. A representative from Walmart was quoted as saying this. As a retailer serving millions of customers every day from diverse backgrounds, Walmart does not tolerate discrimination of any kind. Like other retailers, the cases were put in place to deter shoplifters from some products such as electronics, automotive, cosmetics, and other personal care products. It is comforting to know that in times like these, that we are one step closer to becoming the world that civil rights figure George Floyd had envisioned. And it looks like we have one more update from the Republic of Chaz. Citizens of Seattle have started to move the barriers and resume daily life, and the governor has refused to acknowledge that Chaz even existed. The entertainment world is in mourning today, as Paramount had decided to kneel on the neck of the show Cops. After 33 years of service, the show Cops will be taken off the air. Right-wing journalists were quick to set up a GoFundMe for the family of cops to showcase their moral virtue on social media.